everyone. Today I will show you how to fix Valorant. There was an error connecting to the platform errors. I have five different solutions for this problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you. Let's start. Our first solution is to activate the VGC service that is used while Valorant is running. For this, we first write run in the search section and click on the first application. Then we write ms config in the right bar here. And we press OK. From the window that opens, we come to services. And click on hide all Microsoft services option below. When we scroll down, we will see the VGC service here. We make sure this service is on. After we activate the VGC service, we press apply and then OK. We do not restart our computer as our first solution is not finished yet. We open the search section and write services. Among the services here, we find the VGC service. Here you can easily find it by clicking the blank part once and then pressing the letter V. Right click on VGC service and click properties. Here we first change the manually feature with automatic. Then we press start. After the service starts, we click on apply and then OK. That was our first solution. Now you can restart the computer once and check if the error is fixed or not. Let's move on to the second solution. Our second solution is to delete and reinstall the Vanguard that is the source of the error. First, we write control panel in the search section and click on the first application. In the window that opens, we click on uninstall a program. Here are the applications that are installed on our computer. Among them, we find Riot Vanguard. After we find it, we right click and press uninstall. We click yes. This process may take 5 to 10 seconds. Yes, as you can see, Vanguard was deleted. Sometimes Vanguard may not be deleted even if deleted from here. Therefore, we need to delete it using CMD. Type CMD in search and right-click and select Run as Administrator. First, we type SC Delete VGC and press Enter. If the deletion process in the control panel was successful, you will receive an error message like I did here, there is no problem. Then we type SC Delete VGK and press Enter and close CMD. Before reinstalling Vanguard, we need to delete the residual files of Valorant and Vanguard. For this, we write percent local update percent in the search section and click on the folder that comes out. Here we are deleting the Valorant and Vanguard folders. After we finish our work here, we write percent %update a percent in the search section this time and click on the folder that comes up. Likewise, we delete the Valorant and Vanguard folders. After deleting the files here, we click on Valorant application. Here Vanguard will install itself. We are waiting for the installation process to be completed. After the installation is complete, we need to restart our computer once. If this solution worked for you, don't forget to like the video. If it didn't work, we will now move on to the third solution. Our third solution is to repair Valorant files. To do this we open the Valorant app. Then we click the button at the top right and then we click on Settings. Here we click on Valorant. Then click on Repair. If there is no problem with your files here, your game is up to date message will appear, just like I did. 
But if it's not up to date, it will be like this. Here we click on start repair. And we're waiting for the repair process to be finished. I'm speeding up here. This process may take a little longer for you. After the repair is finished, we click OK and check the error is fixed or not. Now we move on to the fourth solution. Our fourth solution is to change our internet's DNS address. For this, first we enter the control panel. From the control panel, we click on network and internet. And then we click on network and sharing center. Here we click on our internet connection and in the mini window that opens, we click on properties. Finally, we double click on internet protocol version 4. Another mini window opens here. We activate the use the following DNS server addresses feature below and write 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 here. No need to be afraid, this is the Google DNS address I wrote and it is safe. Then we close the windows by clicking on OK and close. It was our fourth solution. If we are getting the error because of our DNS, this solution will work. Now we will move on to the fifth and final solution. Our fifth solution is to completely delete Valorant along with its residual files and then reinstall it. If you are getting a lot of errors like this in the game, it may be due to the installation. That way a clean install will fix most errors. First we need a small program to delete it along with the residual files. For this we open our browser. Then we write geek uninstaller in the search bar and click on the first site that comes up. Here we click on download at the top right. And we click on the zip in the section that says free. Click and open the downloaded zip file and run the X file inside. What you see here are the applications installed on our computer. First, we delete Riot Vanguard. After Vanguard is deleted, we delete Valorant. After the deletion is finished, all we have to do is download Valorant again. You already know this part. And this was our fifth and final solution. We have come to the end of our video. I hope these solutions worked for you. If the video fixed your problem, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.